Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit here on a 2019 Buick Envision. So our 12 volt outlet kit is going to be required when we're using a portable braking system on our flat towed vehicle. Now a portable braking system is one such as the Blue Ox Patriot. It's going to sit inside the driver footwell there and press on the pedal using bracing from the back of the seat. And the reason we need a 12 volt outlet kit for this braking system is that the 12 volt outlet in the center console there of the vehicle is actually not powered while it's in tow mode. So I'm sure you've probably looked in there, found that, and wondering why you need this kit if you could just simply plug your braking system into that. But unfortunately, that port there isn't gonna have power because we do have to shut off power to those circuits so it doesn't drain the battery. Therefore, we're gonna need to pull power for our braking system directly from the battery, and this outlet kit allows us to do that. So this is a pretty simple kit here. It's very easy to hook up and maintain. We're gonna have two wires coming from the outlet kit. We need to route into the engine bay. One of them is gonna to go to the positive battery terminal. The other one is gonna to go to the negative battery terminal. We also have some built-in protection with the wire coming from the positive terminal because it has an inline fuse holder. And that's what's gonna be in that tube there. Now let's head into the vehicle and show you the other half of it. So here's the actual outlet that we're gonna plug our braking system into. It's the same design as the cigarette lighter ports in your vehicle that you've been used to for many years. So we can actually mount this in a number of different locations, but I really found the best location to be out of the way is up tucked underneath the dash here attached to this kick panel. So it's pretty simple. This thing is gonna have power at all times. We don't need to worry about the vehicle being on or in tow mode. It's gonna have power at all times. So we can just simply set up our braking system, plug it in and we'll have power so we can take off down the road. So this is a very simple kit as we said, therefore the installation is gonna be very simple as well. The bulk of the time we'll be getting through the grommet in the firewall, but if you stick with this, we'll show you a cool trick how to get this done. So to start your installation, you need to open up the hood on your vehicle, come into the engine bay on the driver's side and locate our battery, which is this here. So our 12 volt outlet kit is gonna hook up to both the negative and the positive battery terminal. So here we have our negative battery terminal. And if we lift open this cap, we have our positive battery terminal. So once we've identified the battery location in the terminals, we need to find an access point to run our wire from the engine bay into the cab of the vehicle. Because we're gonna have our power connections here and then our actual outlet needs to be located inside the vehicle so we can plug it into what's most likely going to be a braking system. So what I found to be the easiest way to get in there so you're gonna come over here, you're gonna remove this foam piece, and you're gonna have two push pin fasteners, one here and one here. We're not gonna be entirely removing the wiper cowl, but we are gonna be prying it up a few inches because sort of right back in this area is where there's gonna be a grommet for the hood latch release cable that runs from the inside to the outside. So there's gonna be a grommet there in the firewall, just a little bit behind this area. You do have to reach in there a little bit further but what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the inside there, we're gonna poke a hole through that grommet, and then we're gonna use a piece of airline tubing and feed it through that grommet into the engine bay here. And then you're likely gonna to have to reach down in there and pull it out. But you wanna make sure that you still have an end in the vehicle and one end out here. So let's go ahead and jump underneath the dash so we can try to show you that grommet. So we're underneath the driver's side dash here, and there's gonna be a panel we need to remove one screw from in order to give us more access. It's gonna be this panel here. So what we need to do is, there's gonna be one screw on the outside edge going up like that. We simply need to remove that with a seven millimeter socket. And then we should be able to just bend down the panel enough to have room to work. And then our grommet is gonna be up above that panel and on the firewall. So we're gonna go ahead and reach up there. We'll try to give you a better view of that grommet now. So there's where that grommet's located. Now I know it's kind of hard to see, but if you just follow the hood latch release cable from the kick panel here, you should be able to see the access point that it goes through the firewall. So what we use to get this wire through the firewall is we just simply, as we said, took a piece of airline tubing, but you're gonna wanna cut it at an angle so it's rather sharp, that way you can poke it through the rubber. You can also take a screwdriver and poke a hole in the rubber first and then feed your airline tubing through. So we're gonna take the actual socket for the 12 volt outlet kit and you're gonna first stick the wire, or the two wires rather, through this end of the bracket which holds our socket so it should sit in a place like that. You don't have to worry about mounting the bracket right now, we can worry about that a little later. So you're gonna get two ends on the end of the wire leads here for the socket. 
Now I would mark which one is which, but we're actually gonna cut those off because we're not gonna be able to pass that fuse holder through that grommet, it's gonna simply be too large. So we went ahead and cut them off. We used some electrical tape and we taped them to the end of the airline tubing that was in the vehicle here. And then all we did was simply take the other end of the airline tubing in the engine bay and we use that to pull all that wire through there. And so long as you did a good job taping it, you should have your wires coming through the firewall and into the engine bay. But we'll go ahead and leave those wires up there for now. And we can go ahead and simply mount the socket using the bracket. On the inside here, we just simply are using two of the self-tapping screws that come in your kit and affixing it to the top of this kick panel. But that pretty much wraps it up for inside the vehicle. So once we remove the wire from the airline tubing, it should come out along here. We went ahead and just ran it to the side of the fender. You're gonna to wanna to use a couple zip ties to keep the wire nice and away from everything. And this is sort of where we're gonna be working with. On one end, you're going to crimp on a new butt connector that's a little bit larger so we can attach it to the stud here on our negative terminal. And then the other wire, we need to reattach the fuse holder that we removed previously using a butt connector. This is a heat shrink butt connector. And then we can actually just attach it to the positive battery terminal there using the butt connector that's already on there. Or again, you may need to swap it out for a larger one for the stud size. And if you're wondering what size tool you need to remove the nuts from the positive and negative terminal, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. But that's pretty much it. Very simple, a few slight alterations we need to make from the kit there in order to fit our specific needs, but definitely doable for you guys at home. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit here on our 2019 Buick Envision.